Hi everybody, welcome to, or back, to the Gigi and Ollie show. I haven't been on here for about a week. Me and Ollie did do a video last week. Just life and everything going on and dealing with a lot of stuff. But I have a giant Dollar Tree video. All from one store and tons of name brands. This is like my favorite store now. Washington, Illinois. When we go see Christopher, since he lives in Washington, get to kill two birds with one stone, I get to go to Dollar Tree there. So, I went crazy in there this time. And I also had help with Jason's cousin Angie, or I would have missed a lot of these products. She found so many for me that I've been searching for. And a lot of products I had not found. Also, I she was wonderful. And she brought me a charm mail gift for me and Ollie. I'll be doing that in an upcoming video with my charm mail from Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. So be sure and check her out. I'll go into more detail about her when I do that video. But first and foremost, one of the reasons, not only because they have the best products at Washington, Illinois, Dollar Tree, and it's immaculate inside, the cash register girl. She has waited on, I've only been there four times, I think, and the last three times she's waited on me. Her name is Peggy. I feel I'm going to actually do a gift bag for her and take it to her because she is the best clerk of anywhere I've ever had in my life. If we had more Peggy's around this world, the world would be such a happier place. Not only does she not get upset when you have a bunch of stuff, like a lot of them do, we all know. She is so kind, and she speaks to you, and she laughs with you. And I don't even realize it until I get home every time. She has, like, categorized all my stuff for me in every bag. It's awesome. She takes the time to do that. And she's just a doll. God love her. Um, so, Peggy, I wanted to say hi to you. I hope you get to see this video. And like I told you, I'll be back to see you soon. Um, she just brightens your day. She just brightens your day. But yes, all of this is from one transaction at Washington Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar and a quarter, except for some stuff was a quarter. I will let you know what items those were. But I did have to grab a couple more lamps because everybody and their brother wants all my lamps. So they had, I got two more of the black ones. My mom got one of these the other day and we set it up right there. She loves it. She said it's the cutest lamp she's ever had. Adorable. So, these are great lamps. And for a dollar and a quarter, come on now. You can't beat that. At all. And I found the color I didn't know they had. Well, I got another one of these black ones. These, this is my favorite. So bright. I cannot get over how bright this is. I have one right by Scaredy's Little. She has her own little designated corner. I'm hoping in the next couple videos I'll get to have Scaredy come out with me. She is with me in bed every night. She is a spoiled little Kiki. And I love her so much. I just love her. I got another black one of these. But they had white, which you all know. I was digging through the opening up a box and dug through it. They have gray. So I got a gray one too. I thought I got two gray ones, but I guess I didn't. I got a black and a gray. I'd never seen the gray ones. So that's something I'd never found before. So I was glad to find that. Now a lot of these items, a lot of you I've seen have carried. Some of them I've been looking for forever and I finally found. So I'm happy. Scaredy had to get her two more of her little Mises, Mices. She has so many of these. Pops them up in the air, goes crazy, loves them. They disappear. So I'm waiting to find them all at once. I don't know if she's hiding them in one spot. She also, I've learned, has a problem with socks. I cannot stand sleeping with socks on. So normally after I get in bed, I take them off. And then in the morning, I'll put them in a dirty laundry. It's just a habit I've always had. And I wake up every morning, there's no socks. Scaredy now is taking the socks. I did find one of my socks. But I don't know where she's taking those to. She's ornery. So I got her two more of her little mice. I don't think she has any brown ones. And I found this in the aisle with the party stuff. Oh, there's two in here. Um, I got this scoop. 
the smaller one in here I want to use for her cat food and her big, big yummy. Con my mind went blank. The big yummy container that they had at Dollar Tree. That little one. I should have got my scissors. Oh, never mind. It opens like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is two. A big one and a little one. I think that will be perfect for her food. And it's pink. Since she's a precious little girl. I'm sorry. I talk about her all the time now. I guess she brightens my day. I found that, well, actually, Angie found them for me. My sister, as I told you, is a school teacher, loves any type of ink pens that do things, or she collects ink pens like um, Shy Town Girl, Elizabeth. Check her out. She has some great videos. All of her videos are great, actually. And she has such an adorable dog. But I got her both of these. The only two they had, and I did find, well, I didn't. Angie also found the matching notebooks. These are the 10 color ink pens because Mimi's birthday is coming up in, well, Nick and Mimi's birthday is in April. So I'll be doing her a great big gift bag, which I'll do a video of. And then I'm going to um, also do the Target gift card because she's addicted to Target. Found the Salon Selectives. I actually, the writing is so little on this, so bear with me, guys. This is the Salon Selectives Nourishing Hair Oil, Coconut and Shea, and it smells good. I must smell it again now. Exotic Shea Butter. You just put a little bit in your hair and run it through, and it's for all hair types. That's clear, so it might be a little hard to see, but it smells good. I smelled it in the store, and it does smell good. So one of those, I never found these before, two of the Freeman masks, let me see what kind these are, so I want to be able to tell you guys, these Freeman masks are the Ultra Healing cream mask for dehydration, which I absolutely need right now in this weather. These are made with sunflower seed oil. Oh, the sun, sunflower seed oil plumps and the almond oil restores and dermatolo dermatologist tested. So two of those and a funny story about these when we're up in line, because I also got some frosting and I'm like, Ollie's going to love decorating the cupcakes with these. And Peggy just started laughing. These are face masks. Thank God she pointed that out to me. Because they look just alike, the tubes. I could, what if I would have gave this to Ollie to decorate cupcakes with? Well, hopefully he would have said, what is this, Gigi? You're crazy. I was, could have had him all weekend. I'm getting over a cold and stuff. And I didn't, and my voice keeps coming and going. So I do apologize for that right now. It sounds pretty normal. Um... I didn't want to give him anything to take back to Baby Jack or give him anything. Next, I found the Arm & Hammer Essentials Liquid Hand Soap and Tropical Mango with the pump. I did not smell this. Ooh, smells good. Yeah. That smells just like a mango. Good. That. The two antacids. Tums, you know, generic Tums. I've looked and looked for the Vicks sleeping medicine. I can't find it anywhere. Next, I, I know a lot of you have hauled this. I finally found it. The Freeman. Psst. This is the drying shampoo. The dry shampoo. Or no, this is the conditioner. This one's the conditioner. Bear with me. And it does smooth your hair. I'm trying to see the scent on here because I know it says it. Unscented, lightweight, argan oil, detangles in between washes, fragrance free. See, I wish it had fragrance. I don't like fragrance free stuff, but I'll use it. 
So got that. And then I found the Freeman shampoo. Psst. Shampoo. And this is texture and body. Dry shampoo. Sea salt and coffee. Absolutely weightless and nourishing. Ooh, I bet that smells good. I've got to spray this. Hold on, guys. I'm going to spray a little bit in the cap. I don't really smell... I don't smell coffee, but it smells good. Yeah, I think I smell coffee at the end. Anyway, it smells good. And I had to get... I'm going to have Ollie do these with me next weekend. Um, says plant now, bloom later. We got these flowers with the bulbs in the back. I'm going to put them. I have a little triangle in front um, by a lamp post. I'm going to plant these and see if we have any luck with them. Maybe I'll do a video of that because Ollie loves working in the garden and stuff. I know this isn't really the garden. Oh, I can't wait to start that with Ollie this year. We're going to have a big... We're doing big garden this year. Next, I finally found the Hemp Heaven. This is hemp seed oil, body lotion, and coconut. I love anything coconut. That. I want to smell it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I can smell the coconut. I'm keeping that for myself. <laughs> also, I thought this, I was going to give this to my sister. I don't know if there's real strawberries in it, but she's allergic to strawberries, so I can't give that to her. I found the Hemp Heaven Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion in Strawberry. Soothes, hydrates, and moisturizes. These are big, full-size bottles, too. Mm-hmm. Yep, it smells like strawberries. Yum. I love strawberries. So that. Then I found the Hemp Heaven Natural Body Wash Hemp Seed Oil Moisturizes, Soothes, and Hydrates. This is a great big bottle also. It says it's unscented. And it is. Yeah. Probably give this to Christopher. So, found that. So, I got one of each that I could find. I'm sure there's more different kinds, but that's all I could find. Next, I grabbed a couple of the power sticks. I like to have these here for the boys, which you all know. Because they're always stopping by or when Christopher comes over when you least expect it. Or forgets something. Or Nick stops by to take a shower. Got everything. Jason needs them for work, what have you. I finally found the Apple Cider Vinegar Freeman Masks. A lot of this is going in a giant giveaway also. I don't want to tell what. So, you know I always get two of everything. Hint, hint. So I found these. And it says about this, that. I know this is a multi-mask. It does everything. Flawless complexion, multitasking mask, and we all know apple cider vinegar is amazing for us, they say. So, two of these. These are the full size. I found the Dragonfly body wash. I know some people are saying, oh, these are $12 and $15 online. Well, I had my sister look them up, and they were four. So, still, that's a good deal. These are carefully formulated without any dyes, sulfates, and or paraffins. And this body wash is tea, tree oil, and sage. And it is the Dragonfly Bath and Body. That smells good. Here's the green bottle. These are perfect for Easter colors. Perfect. And then this one for my sister. Sissy's going to get this in her birthday basket. This is the Dragonfly Bath and Body. All the same description, except for this is pink lemonade. She loves citrus. Any type of citrus. Oh my gosh. 
It smells just like pink lemonade. I wish I would have got two. Well, guess what? I'm going to see Christopher tomorrow. So, I'm going back. And I want to see Peggy again. I hope she's working. But I won't have her gift bag ready yet. Because I don't want to give her Dollar Tree stuff. I'm going to go get her a nice gift bag. She's amazing. Two of the Paul Malov. The boys use these when they work on stuff. Or, you know, have grimy, greasy hands. So I grabbed two of those. I noticed they don't have the bonus sizes anymore. Normally I always get the bonus size. Forever I've gotten the bonus size. Uh, since Christopher was here for the la for those five days last week, suffering from the seizures, had to get more of the guys' three-in-one bath and body stuff and hair shampoo. This time, I couldn't find a power stick. I had to get Pro Silk for men. I smell it. Doesn't have much of a smell at all. Some of them are so strong smelling and smell so good. Um, they have back my, I'm going to find these forever. I've been having to get the Scotties, which I much prefer the Puffs. Two of the bigger boxes of Puffs. And I just love the little character on there. He's so adorbs. I wish they'd make a little figure of him, which maybe they do. I don't know, but I think he's so cute. And I know everybody's been finding the um, super green gummy vitamins from Goalie. 60 count. I grabbed two of these. Angie told me they taste like crap. Well, like my mom always said, medicine's not supposed to taste good. So two of those. And I found the apple cider vinegar ones. These are 30 count in the red goalie vitamins. So that's good. That was a great find. So now I got one. These are the only two they had. So I got one of each. This is the first time ever I found these, and I know you guys have been finding them forever. And Tiffany from Tiffany's Passions, love her. Go check her out. Oh, she's such a sweet woman. Um, she swears by these. And when I seen them, I'm like, that's what Tiffany gets. And I grabbed them. The facial serums, I cannot wait to try these. She swears by these. So, it's got to be a good product. So, I'm going to give these a try. Yeah, you guys have been finding these forever. First time I ever found them. This is the Remo of London. Angie had this on, actually, when I was with her. I'm going to put some on my hand and show you guys. I don't know if I can wear it, but it looked great on her. And it's the only shade they had. Purple, I believe, eyeshadow. Or, purple, green. There's the packaging. You could stab somebody with that. Yes, K for Karen, this could be a weapon. If they're close enough to you and you want to gouge them. Did I just break that? Oh. Oh, it's a marker pen. Okay, I put on way too much. It's supposed to be green. Let me take these stickers off here. I didn't know it was a marker pen. I thought it was a screw off with a little paintbrush. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is green. I can see now. It is green. But you could probably mix it with black because you know I'm into black. So there's that. It'll get used. It'll get used. I needed a new blush brush, and this is the only one I could find, so I got it. I need power powder puffs so bad. They have none. None at all. So I did get this blush brush. My brushes are done with. This, let me see. Because I want to give you guys the name of this item. This is the deep, it's a whole box of deep cleansing the nose peel offs with charcoal, witch hazel, and vitamin C. And this is spa scriptions. Yeah, it's a whole box of them. Normally you find these separate. There was one box, I got one box. So I thought that was great. This is like the stuff they have at TJ Maxx, all those kind of places. So I was happy to find that. Some Revlon lip color. I'm going to show you guys the number there, and then I'm going to put some on my hand, and let's see if this is rubbing. 
That is smudging. I wanted to test that after about a minute or two. It does smudge. We'll try it again though before I'm done. There is the number on that. Let's get this puppy open. Oh, you can probably see it better now. There you go. Is this going to be sealed? Yes, of course it is. my kind of style. Reminds me of my grandma. Aww. Always finding Kleenexes all over her house where she dabbed her lips. Aww. Tweezers. I don't know if they're any good or not, but I grabbed the Sassy and Chic Tweezers. The only brand they had to pick from. Okay, this lip color. Let's see what this is, guys. Yeah, they had like a little basket full of stuff. But that was the only... Angie helped me find one of each. That's dark too, is this? Let me show you guys. There's no sticker on the bottom. That right there says something. Anyway... There's that one. I like that. And then I finally found the exfoliating exfoli exfoliating bath glove. My favorite colors. Well, my favorite colors like black and magenta and red. I have a lot of favorite colors, but I love this. Love, love, love. And I'm going to feel this. Because right, when I'm done, well, after I do another video, I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to use this. What's some of my new shower gel, or bath gel? Why can't stuff just open up easy for me? Maybe I have it on the wrong finger. I mean, maybe I have it upside down because that feels so weird. There. I had the thumb on the pink. That is good. Yep. I'll be using that tonight. Okay. And then, since I said my sister loves citrus, I got... The Spa Scriptions Glowing Hydro Gel Face Mask. This has vitamin C and niacinamide. I like hiccups. Brightens, soothes, and smooths. And she likes them when they're like that, that puffy stuff. I love their bubble or what they are. And she said this is a great brand for masks because she's into masks. So I got her this to go in her birthday basket. Then, next, let's see here. We're done doing that. Got Ollie another one of his Tootsie Roll banks. He just thinks it's amazing that this is a secret bank, Gigi. Because he told me at first, no, it's not. And then he figured it out. Yeah, it is. And then, because we ate those when he was here. He loves Tootsie Rolls. He wants the vanilla white ones. I couldn't find them because for a while they did have the blue bag with all the whites. They didn't have them this time. I did find these for me. I love Double Bubble, my favorite gum in the world, Chicago. And because, of course, I'm from Illinois. I'm in Illinois. And Double Bubble it is the blue raspberry. I love anything raspberry. Oh, I love raspberries. So this was perfect. That's for me. I got some more of the Nestle Flips White Fudge pretzel, Pretzels for when Christopher is here. I did get two bags. I ate one last night. Shame on me. 
I found the circle, because we've already had the squares, the jello circle shaped sour gummies. A lot of this will be going in Easter baskets too. This is mine though, of course. My bit oh honey. Love, love, love. Then I get burnt out on it. Then I love it again. And I couldn't believe I found these. And these are so soft. Ocean Spray Craisins Dried Cranberries. Original. I cannot believe how soft these are. These And you cannot find these for this price. And this is a good size bag. Because I'll be doing my um, broccoli salad for Easter. Which I'll show you guys. Oh, I love it. Everybody loves it. But you have to have craisins in it. Or golden raisins people use. I prefer craisins. And when I see Notion Spray ones, for as soft as they are, I couldn't believe for a dollar and a quarter. I did find these for Ollie. I don't know if he's going to like I I'm sure he'll like them. I found the Tootsie Fruit Chews. And this is the bonus extra value bag. So I grabbed two of these. But no vanilla ones. And he wants the vanilla. So I got those. I also, you know, all know Ollie's addicted to marshmallows. I found the magical, oh my gosh, the magical poop marshmallows. I didn't realize it. I got a unicorn poop marshmallows, guys. Oh, he's going to love them. I didn't know they were poop. Anything, a little boy's going to love that. And then I got the ones I normally find, the magical marshmallow twist. He loves these with the little race car on the bag. Excuse me. So got him those. Where's my water in this mess? There it is. Excuse me. And then don't fall. And get all these out. These were the items that were a quarter. And I know me and Ollie will be doing some Easter decorating for treats. So, I only got what they had. I got the yellow and the blue sprinkles, sugars. These were a quarter each. Blue's his favorite color, so that works out perfect. Got, these were all quarter each also. Purple, blue, red, and the yellow icings. I thought he would like decorating cookies or cupcakes with these. So, I got all four of those. These are the only colors they had because I dug through them and picked out one of every color. And these were not anywhere special. They were right by where all this stuff is in the, um, like the celebration section for birthdays and gatherings and all that stuff. And there was a little sign that said for, for a dollar, sprinkles frosting. So that's how I found those. Candy for the candy jar. I don't like any of these. Snickers. Twix, Baby Ruth. Yeah. Easter baskets I finally found. I remember getting these last year and people loved them. The White Chocolate Fruity Pebbles Bunny. So I grabbed two of those. I found the Rice Krispie ones last time if you guys see my last video. I finally found these. No, we do not eat the cookie. I do not call it a cookie. I call it a piece of stale cracker. But we decorate them and have fun doing them. We try to nibble of the gingerbread. Absolutely not. The gingerbread shaped one at Christmas time. I found the Easter egg. So me and little man will be doing the Easter egg ones. And I found the bunny. So I got two of the bunny ones, one for me, one for Ollie. Also, I had to get my Twizzlers. I hardly ever find these, and when I find them, I want them. My Twizzlers Bites, Cherry, Love, Love, Love. I love licorice, you all know that. Then I had to get my Black Licorice, I love black. The Will Wiley Wallabies. These are delicious, if you like black licorice. But they have all different flavors, too. Um, I finally found these. I expected the bags to be bigger. I don't know why. 
<coughs> but they are really fresh and soft, you can tell. I found the, um, I can't, are those butterflies? Gummies? Yeah, butterflies. Ooh, mini gummy butterflies. I've never seen butterflies before. Those are adorable. And it's pink. And then these are like mini worms. And like I said, I found all this at the one location. And they are very well stocked. And then I found these worms. Um, one is sour, and these ones are just the regular mini gummy worms. These are the only three they had. I just can't get over how soft they are. And I like soft gummies when I'm in the mood for them. I found these for, my sister loves these, and I've only found them for her once. I found the icy cherry frost, and I found her the blue raspberry to go in her birthday basket. These remind of us of when we were kids, and um, we get the ICs at Kmart many, many, many moons ago. So I found her, someone found the fruit punch one too. I didn't see that. They only had the two there, which I don't know if she'd even want the fruit punch kind. So that worked out perfect. Oh, that's a wrapper I dropped. And I found her the fudge mint, fudge mint cookies that taste just like the Girl Scouts. This is her favorite Girl Scout cookie. I'm not spending 20 bucks. Well, not 20 bucks, but you know. When I sold Girl Scouts, or when I did Girl Scouts, it was um, $1.50 a box. I'll never forget. Now they're $5 a box. And then when I could no longer, I got kicked out, actually. They were two fifty. <laughs> now, that's a whole different story. Now, um, I got these for a buck and a quarter, so cheaper than ever. And they taste the same. So, it is what it is, huh? Olives. I love, I never met an olive I didn't, I never met an olive I didn't love. These are both the Bells brand. And I got the green Spanish olives. Nick hates olives. I don't know why. He just, he'll eat, the kid will eat anything, but he does not like olives. Same with Christopher. Christopher is very picky. Ollie's not picky at all, and I love that. And then the black olives. I love black olives, too, from Bell's. Those come in a can. And I had to get... I wanted to get this and try it. The sandwich... Sandwich in seconds. The bumblebee tuna salad. Nobody eats tuna but me. And then I just got the bumblebee um, light tuna. And I hardly ever have it here. Well, Nick likes it. Nick loves tuna. But, I mean, he has his own at his house. He don't stop by to get tuna fish. I found this for the Easter baskets. The Peeps Marshmallow Flavored Cotton Candy. The pink and the yellow. I think the kids will love that. Oh, I'm going to give some of the Baby Jack to taste. They'll love it. I couldn't believe it. I always only find my plain bagels, which I love these bagels. They are delicious. I found the everything bagel. My favorite. I've never seen those there. So got, and I put these in the freezer and I take one out when I need it. Let thaw and I put it in a toaster. If they ever need a spokesperson, Ollie loves the Brim's cheese popcorn. Loves, loves, loves. He's pretty greedy with it, too, I must say. He loves it. So I had to get in our bag of that, because he had last time he spent the night, and it's gone. Angie found these for me. I would not have seen them. The Campbell's flavor, flavor Up. I mean, I never even heard of these in the store or nothing. One is garlic and herb, and the other one is a mushroom. I cannot wait to cook with them. But I'm going to be making chili, so I won't need either one of these. So we got that one. And you know, these are way more than a dollar and a quarter. At the st oh, every item here almost this time is. I wish I knew all the original prices of stuff. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, guys, we're getting close to the end. Still, cannot, and like Peggy told me, you should have grabbed the gnome when you seen it. I know. This year, didn't get to find Mom a 
St. Patrick's Day gnome, and now I can't find an Easter gnome. So they did have the white bunny, a few of those left, so I grabbed one of those. This is going to have to do if I can't find a gnome, which she'll love it regardless when I do her basket, which I'll be doing a video of like when I did the, what did we do one of? Valentine's Day. Yeah, we had a gnome for that, remember? And then I found the carrots to stick in with her basket when I do it, her which I'll be doing. I just have to grab a couple more things and we'll be doing a video of that. I grabbed this little fan because I thought it was cute. It does require a battery. I just thought it was cute. They didn't have any blue ones or I would have got Ollie a blue one for his room here. So I got a pink one of those. Angie said to grab this, but I have to look more into it and see what it is. It says happier, healthier. It's the Atom Atomizer. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Atomizer. Got that. That will probably be going in a giveaway. I found Baby Jack, um, the cup with all the original. Well, Elmo, it's not original. But, well, they have Grover on there. Snuffleupagus. I love Snuffleupagus. But Elmo has to be on everything. Nothing against Elmo, but I prefer the old school ones. So I got this one. I finally found one for Baby Jack. The um, Zach brand ones that they have. A Zach for Jack. These for me and Ollie for our painting. Because both two things of Easter eggs to paint. Wooden. With lots of detail. So he'll love that. Y'all know he loves painting. Get those. Oh, I'm sorry. He loves arts and crafts. He'll tell me. I don't know if I have this one, but I dug and dug and found it, and I couldn't not get it once I had made such a huge mess and stood there forever rehanging up all the bags. To me, this looks old, old school Mickey and Minnie, so I liked it. So I only got one bag this time. I grabbed, I thought Baby Jack, he's too little for this because he's been, he'll chew on anything, of course. Because that's what all little kids do. And he's a little over a year old, so I thought this would not be good for him. But I got this for Ollie, the squishy. Um, he has an Easter egg in which I'm going to put something in the Easter egg. I don't think there's anything in the Easter egg. Or does the Easter egg even come out? Anyway, it's a little dinosaur squishy wrapped around an egg. He'll have fun with that. He likes squishies. I didn't find the one he wants yet, but they did have these back out, but they only had like six, so I got one of, that I didn't know he didn't have, the Ryan, because they show on the bag of these ones what's in there. I didn't know that till Ollie showed me, because so I'm like, I hope you got, oh, Cosmos, who he likes. I hope you got Cosmo, and he's like, uh, GG, yeah, it shows right on there what it is. And then the other day, when he was in the bathtub here... He went, I said, where's all your Ninja Turtle guys? And he said, you know where they are, Gigi. I left them with Papa Dale in Georgia so he could watch them. Oh. And I said, we'll get them back sometime. So he left those down there with Papa Dale. He's so precious. I do remember him now leaving some stuff down there for him. I got this for the front door with the uh, metal on the ear and the little bow. Um, hippity hoppity. I just got, I normally get real colorful stuff. Don't know why. I just grabbed this this year. Plain and easy. Hippity hoppity. And these stickers from the 80s. These for my sister to go in her gift bag. She's going to love these. Well, I like them too. I mean, I love them too, especially the 80s. 80s are the best, in my opinion, before somebody says, no, it's not. But I think a lot of people will agree with me, the 80s were the best. Growing up in the 80s was fun. Fun, happy days. Back when sex was safe and motorcycles were dangerous. <laughs> then that pack of them. Oh my goodness. Come on, Amy.
because she does all that um, journaling and stuff. Um, plus, being a teacher, always giving stickers. But I don't think she'll be giving these. She's going to love them. She gonna love them. There's a lot on there. 240 it says. And then this notebook with that same cat. It's on you're finding on almost everything now. I think it's for summer. Summer line. And then this notebook. They also had a dog. I just got the cat. This is printed on there. You cannot take that off. And there is little designs on the corner of each page. Lined. But it's good duty. Or good quality. Good duty. These match the ink pens. Make today happy. And then we have this one with the cherries and the flowers. So these will go with her ink pens and her gift bag. They're all matching. I don't know if they have anything else that goes with the set or not. I bet they'll be doing bags. I bet they'll do the little makeup bags or pencil bags next. Tonka tattoos for Ollie and Baby Jack. Angie found those, and Ollie loves tattoos. Jack's a little over a year old. He's due for his first. <laughs> and then, a while back, like a year ago, they had some of these sticker books completely different style, though. And my sister's like, I don't know where you found those at, but if you ever find anything else like it, I want them. Well, guess what, sis? They have new ones out. Because she could not believe they came from Dollar Tree. But these, and they're by the cash register, go like this. And there's a lot of stickers and pages. A lot of them. Adorable. And then this one. They're all different styles. All different amounts in them also. One more item, guys. I hope you stuck with me through this. Comment, please like, so I can get more out there. Me and Ollie are busting our butts. We really need some more subscribers and some likes. Please. We'd be very grateful to you. And then the last item is these stickers. These ones are my favorites. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be back doing a charm mail video um, from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict and Cousin Angie. I'll show you guys everything. And also, I hope everybody has a great Saturday. Have a great Sunday. Also, a great weekend. I love you all. Thank you for spending time with me again. And until next time... And Peggy, if you watch this till the end, you're the best cashier I've ever dealt with in my life. And if anybody goes over to the locals, go over to the Washington, Illinois, and Peggy's working, tell her Gigi Amy sent you. Thank you all for spending time with me. I love you all, my charms. Till next time. Bye-bye.